Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So this is going to be a little different video. It's going to provide the resources that I feel are the most essential, the add-ons, uh, Discord servers, things like that, that I feel the most essential for new players. So this is the things that a lot of the mythic creators or whatever might already know about. It might seem very obvious, but for new players, I feel this is going to be a very good starting point for becoming better at your class, for becoming better at doing raids, Mythic Plus, for ways to improve yourself. And I'm going to list uh, the best websites, the best add-ons, the best resources that I feel are really, really essential for you to become better at World of Warcraft. So it's going to be aimed at absolute beginners, but even, even the better players might find something useful in here. So keep that in mind. So first of all, this has been prompted for me because I started my Discipline Priest. My Discipline Priest is Hunchen 10. I boosted uh, my Void Elf, this Priest. And, I'm, and, and I was wondering, how can I improve on my Discipline Priest? Where can I find the right resources? How can I get the right add-ons? And that's why I made the video. So first of all, this will be using my Discipline Priest as an example. So I boosted my Disc Priest and I'm wondering, how do I play? What are the best rotation? What's the best, you know, what's the general healing uh, rotation? What's the AOE healing and things like that? So First of all, Icy Veins and Wowhead, they have a very decent class guide for every spec, every class, and they're usually kept updated by multiple people. Wowhead and Icy Veins usually hire people from who are known to be good at playing a certain spec or theory crafters. So therefore, most of the guides are pretty good. They're kept updated, so it's a very, very good starting point. Wowhead and Icy Veins provide very good starting point for a general general class play so i i as a discipline priest i checked out the guides i checked out the five man builds and things like that it provides good information it provides really really good information but eventually you'll be like okay i'm i'm getting this ability overlaps with another ability i'm getting an a, additional proc which ability is going to be the best to use after that and things like that you get into more advanced stuff you get like you want to know more and you feel that maybe those guides don't provide as much information so I feel the next step is class discords. Wow, class discords. So if you don't know what discord is, discord is basically what it used to be. It used to be uh, Mumble, Teamspeak, Ventrilo. They used to be the voice comms or the ones that everyone use. So discord discord came about. You can either install it as an application or you can use it in a browser. I advise you to use it as an application because it gives you more options with voice commands. But either way. He has the option of voice communication. He has live chat features as well. And on top of that, you're able to pin messages. Something similar to a forum. So it's almost like a, you know, team speak with a forum in a much, much better way. So if you actually Google WoW Discord, uh, Discord servers, IC Vents has a nice updated list of all the Discord servers that are available there. So for me, I'll be looking for a priest one. I go into the priest one. I open up the discord um, now i'm presented with more information i have all of these little subsections for like on on a specific uh priest discord which is hate uh, h2p priest community i have the option of checking out disc shadow holy so now i can go into these uh different sections or so go into the discipline and you need to make sure that you check usually these kind of service will have like resources resource section where they'll provide you with information like crucible nether like crucible weights will provide you information with like mythic plus guides talent choices updated information so and or usually in the specific spec section like discipline priest you'll have pin messages so on the top right hand corner click on the pin messages and a lot of the times inside those pin messages you will have all the information that you need so before even asking a question, read through the pin sections. They will have a lot of information about everything. Mythic Plus, latest updates, tier 21 and things like that. Um, keep in mind that in my example, I joined the H2P uh, Priest community. There's also a specific disc Discord server called Focused Will, which focuses more on the healing aspect. And they also have additional information. They have a resource uh, package as well. So you have to keep in mind that there might be some spec specific discord service as well so there's plenty plenty of information to go around discord service and usually if you read through the pin section or if you read through the resource section and you if you have more questions more specific questions just ask that's what those class discord servers are for helping other people helping new people to find the best 
and most optimal ways to play the new class. So after you know the basic information about your class, either through Icy Veins, Wowhead or Class Discords, hopefully the combination of all of those, uh, you're kind of ready to like, you know, start raiding, start doing Mythic Plus and there are specific add-ons that you might need. Either Whether you like it or not, add-ons play a big part in World of Warcraft and they probably will always play a big part in World of Warcraft and they make the game easier and they make you play your class better and I'll tell you why. So first of all, there is specific add-ons that I could consider mandatory. You should install at least one raid specific add-on. So raid encounter specific add-on. So that either includes DBM, Deadly Boss Mod or Big Wigs. There's a lot of discussion between which one is better. Honestly, both of these are good options. All of those add-ons have an option to remove, show or include whatever ability you want to see. So DBM or Big, big Wigs are a great option to start your add-on career. You, have, you should really get at least one of those. If you are getting DBM, I highly advise you to get VEM, which is the DBM voice pack, or for big wigs to get big wigs voice plugin. What this will allow you, what this will do, it'll give you voice cues for boss abilities. And I feel voice cues are really, really important during hectic parts of the fight, or if you're learning your class rotation and you just get overwhelmed by everything that's happening, a voice that's hap that says big AOE ability in three, two, one, can be essential. So I highly advise you to get those plugins, whichever add-on you choose to install. Now you'll be wondering like, how the hell do I install these add-ons? Where do I get them? What's going on? Like I'm completely new to this game. Um, I highly advise you to try out the Curse client, which now has been renamed to Twitch client. And this Twitch client, what it does basically, you're able to install this application, go into this application, search for the add-on that you want, like DBM, big wigs or whatever, and just install it just within a couple of clicks. You don't have to copy and paste folders. You don't have to overwrite the folders. You don't have to find the folders in your workout directory or anything like that. It's very, very simple to install a new add-on. And once the add-on becomes outdated, usually during when a new raid is released or when a new patch is released, you can just update all of the add-ons with one click. So I find this to be extreme, a good time saver. A good, this is what I use personally. Um, so now that you've installed your raid add-on, I highly advise you to also get We Chorus. So We Chorus is We Chorus provides you with an ability or notifications, visual notifications or audio cues for about for just about anything in the game. You're talking about class abilities, you're talking about boss abilities, you're talking about energy timers, and just anything in the game. It is the most customizable add-on I feel like in in the whole World of Warcraft. It is so so great. And why I consider this to be mandatory purely for the fact because it is so popular and it allows you to share and copy other people's Wii Chorus. So technically, if you have no idea about Wii Chorus, you don't have to know anything about Wii Chorus. You just have to go to the specific website, the biggest Wii Chorus site for World of Warcraft, Wago.io, Wago.io, I don't know how to say it properly, I don't know how to pronounce it, but either way, this website, you just have to, for, in my example, I'm looking for some Wii Chorus or some icons priority icons for my discipline priest i just look for discipline priest then i sort the list by the most views because usually the most popular we course are usually the best ones it's not always true but i don't want to go through pages and pages of we course i just want to see the best one so i sort it out and within five minutes i was able to get this week aura for my discipline priest which shows the most important spells and i feel it's visually pleasing and without even knowing anything i just had to copy the we course string from the website Go to my game, type in forward slash WA for Wii Chorus. When that's opened up, I just click import and I copy the text and that's it. And it's there. And I and I have someone else hard work. They decided to share it and now I have it on my Discipline Priest. And I feel really, really, really happy about this. So besides getting a class specific Wii Chorus, I highly suggest to get a raid specific Wii Chorus. So right now it's on Taurus. You should be looking like in wago.io you'll see the Antori section and you can sort it by views again and this is the weak aura that i use this is the weak aura that i use for Antorus. and this weak aura i feel does the same job as like dbm or big wigs maybe even in a better manner because this weak aura will just tell you the exact deep like if you get something bad on yourself if you get a deep of that you need to run away or you need to stack or you need to spread it'll tell you if a boss is about to get 100 energy and about to do a big aoe it will tell you it it works unbelievably great and one of the most important things that i suggest to new players with every new raid release get the specific raid encounter 
weak aura for the first or two days whatever it's released because those weak auras even with knowing just the basic amount about the boss boss mechanic wise like you just know you have to run away when you get that this weak aura will help you immensely and there are a lot of good weak auras that are built for Taurus, and there's going to be a lot of good weak auras that are going to be built for battle for hazard as well so that's one of the reasons why I consider weak auras to be one of the mandatory add-ons so besides that for healer specific add-ons um raid frames are really important and blizzard default rain frames can be somewhat lacking based on what class you play i recommend grid 2 voodoo or lbi profiles to be raid frames to be really really good wago.io actually gives you the option to copy and share voodoo and lbi frames so you don't need to know anything about voodoo or lbi you can just share someone else's work without knowing anything so now you have raid frames if you're a healer or whatever now you have a raid boss add-on and now we have weak auras so you're basically ready and you know your class you're, you're basically ready, ready to raid or do mythic plus so if you're raiding with the guild or a poke there's a high chance that someone has logged the fight or logged the whole run so what do you mean by log they basically uploaded the dps healing information to workout logs and workout logs based on your healing or dps will rank you and based on your item level will rank you in terms of how well you perform and using this website you can just like on the top left hand corner you can search for your name and then search for like you know specific raid and oh i got like a 70 log i got a 7 80 percent log 99 percent log i did really well you can click into those and you can see a breakdown of your damage and healing abilities and if you want a way to improve i highly advise you to check out wow analyzer so wow analyzer is a new tool that's celebrating one year anniversary right now what you need to do is basically once you go into a specific fight in workout logs you just get this you get the encounter id on your browser in within your browser url you'll get encounter id you copy that into wow analyzer and then it'll give you a breakdown of how we how well your how well your spells did how your how did your tier 21 contribute towards your healing or damage how did how your legendaries perform is that like was that legend a good choice maybe you only did one percent of healing or one percent of damage was that a good choice of legendaries? Maybe I should have used Innervate earlier. It'll give you a ton, a, a really summarized um, summary of all of your spells, all of your damage and improvements. It might not be the perfect tool. It might not be the perfect tool in terms of when to use cooldowns, healing cooldowns, things like that. I don't say that it's like 100% foolproof, but it is the best way to analyze logs and to analyze legendaries analyze talents and things like that so i highly highly advise you to actually use this tool if you want to improve so this has been uh, my overview of the resources of the add-ons that i would recommend any new world of warcraft player to get and with these resources and add-ons you'll get better with the game you'll you'll want to improve and it'll make you a better player and hopefully it'll make you enjoy the game a bit more Thank you guys for watching this little overview. Let me know how you feel about this. Let me know if I left out a specific resource or if I left out a specific add-on that you feel is mandatory. And I'll see you in my next guide.